in the state of the sun of loneliness. You're out there running just to be on the run. Because he lay there for a, he lay there for a few minutes, I tell you, before he come down. And, and I, I says, there's bombs all now for you. <laughs> so my mother was a very ambitious woman. She thought she'd make a, a bishop out of me. <laughs> <laughs> not, not a priest, a priest was already. She was going to make it. And I, I was sent to St. Patrick's College in Armagh. That I surround the border of sweet destiny. Here's how to come. Monaghan from uh, Skerries in North County Dublin. Uh, we're thinking of you all at this time as you remember Padder, um, a great character and we have some fantastic memories of uh, some great times with him. Uh, in particular we're uh, thinking back on that uh, fantastic trip to Spain with you all a good number of years ago now and this is a song that we played on the last night at a, a concert on the square. Uh, it was a fantastic night. Uh, so this is a uh, Dublin song written by a Monaghan man, and so here we go, Raglan Road.
is for Patter. Oh! 
Across black water Without One submerging On To the banks Of an urban morning That hungered The first light Much, much, much more Than the mountains Ever do 
feel like a ghost beside me Goes down with the ears of a dolphin And emerges unshaved, untouched and hung She is the finest creature Natural in every feature And I, I'm the geek with the Alcomer Stone For all of you that might discover For all the seek to understand For having left the path of others You'll find a very special plan And it is the holy place And these are precious times And this is the only way For getting me nuts among the snow It has always been so it shows to ponder his death and his life eternally. For all of you that might discover For all the seek to understand For having left the path of others You'll find a very special plan and it is the holy place And these are precious times And this is the only way For getting me nuts among the snow It has always been So it shows you ponder his death And his life Eternally It was in September ninety three I was on the Hogan stand for that great All Ireland final and the football sure was grand. Billy Morgan and the Corkmen served up such gallant play, but they failed to match the dairy men who went on to win the day. And as the crowd was filing out in thousands on the street, I saw as I passed beside him, much to my surprise, that as he gazed around the park, the tears welled in his eyes. I sat right down beside him and asked if he was well, the old man shrugged his shoulders, and he then began to tell how memories come flooding back when I see such great displays, and I picture many heroes who excelled in other days. For more than fifty golden years I've gone to many games. I remember famous matches and the legendary names. And I thank the Lord who spared me, for it was always my desire to see the men of Derry taken home the Sam Maguire. Look over there, young fellow, do you see that mighty crane? It tells me that our dear Crook Park will never be the same. They begin tomorrow morning to take down the Cusack stand. It will never more re-echo the Artane boy's famous band. I suppose they call it progress, because nothing can stand still, 
and I wouldn't be surprised to see a stand across the hill. But still, I'll hardly see it, for the time I've left is brief. So I'll just retain the memories of the triumphs and the grief. I remember well the forties when Roscommon, bold and true, were led by Jimmy Murray in their saffron and their blue, when they played the mighty kingdom and matched them man for man. I can still see Giga O'Connor, Paddy Bon and Joe Kilhan. I was here in 1945 when the Corkmen came and won, with Jack Lynch and Wishy Murphy, Jimmy Crone and Eamon Young. And I well recall the cabin men who were captained by John Joe, Simon Dagnum and Mick Higgins, Gunnar Brady and Owen Rowe. I was here in 1951 when Mayo defeated me, with the tension and excitement sure a man could hardly breathe. It was the era of the great full back, and no better could you find than the fearless Paddy Prendergast and Paddy Hans O'Brien. Sean Flanagan was brilliant, Padraig Kearney was supreme, and you couldn't stop Tom Langan when he donned the red and green. Paddy Megan was a flyer, Frankie Bourne was hard to stop, but the man who took some watching was McDermott with the cap. But perhaps the greatest influence on the football game I knew was the famous 50s football team, the Dublin Boys in Blue. <laughs> Still the Kerry men could match them and were never known to yield when the famous Mick O'Connell reigned supreme at centre field. With Sean Morphy, Kevin Coffey and O'Dwyer firmly set, with Johnny Colletty and gold, it was hard to find the net. But the 57 winners were the Lowe's men, brave and fine, and the champions were captained by a clubman called O'Brien. September 1960 saw the kingdom lose their crown. They were beaten well on double scores by the mighty men of Down. A goal from James McCartan set the down men's hearts on fire, and when it went across the border, it was a first for Sam Maguire. The next year they met awfully with Mick Casey and Greg Cuse, and their captain Willie Nolan, what excitement he infused. But the down men won it by a point, and champions did remain when more than 90,000 fans were present at the game. And Galway in the 50s I still remember best, with Jack Mahan and Mick Greeley, Frankie Stockwell and the rest, and the, and the greatest football genius I have ever seen by far, yes, it has to be Sean Porcel, that magnificent Chewham star. And Galway in the 60s were a treat for all the fans. The Donnellans, the Keenans, and Noel Terney had great hands. But if you ask me what's the greatest team, I really have to say it was Kerry in the 80s with Pat Spillan and Jack O'Shea. It's very strange, the old man said, how all those memories last. I remember 50 years ago, but forget the recent past. But I'm thinking of other greats who were heroes in their day, yet they never got a title after years of brilliant play. Kevin Armstrong from Antrim, Eddie Devlin from Tyrone, with their stalwart Frank McGuigan and the brilliant Iggy Jones. Bill Goodison from Wexford, Bill McCarry from Armagh, and the fair-haired Willie Casey from the town of Ballina. Roscommon had O'Malley, what a credit to the game, and then came Dermot Early, another famous name. There was Sligo's Mickey Cairns, Barnes, Morphy and Nance O'Dowd. and in Wicklow, Jerry O'Reilly and Jim Rogers did them proud. 
I remember Andy Phillips too, who never dropped a ball, and the famous Neely Gallagher, the pride of Donegal. Bill Delaney and his brothers were leashmen of renown, and by wonder Tommy Murphy was from Gregor Cullen town. I remember famous Lily Whites, Pa Connolly and Tom Curry. I remember Ali Crinigan, he was a good one too. There was Corkman Eric Ryan and Mick Carley from Westmead, who with Cabins Jim McDonnell had such power, skill and speed. Let's not forget the Leitrim men that star what Cahill Flynn and the likes of Packy McGarrity we may never see again. There was Derry's Jim McKeever and Sean O'Connell, you know fear, but they never got their hand on Sam, though the star, for many a year. Well, the crowd was still departing, so we both got up to go. The old man took me by the hand and he said, I suppose you know. There's one I have not mentioned yet, the greatest of the Gales. No words can do him justice, superlatives all fail. His majestic contribution to the games we love so dear, since August 1938 we acknowledge and revere. He filled our homes with atmosphere, his talent was so rare. He's that great, great commentator, our beloved Michal O'Hare. This is a song for Padder, thinking of you today.
Some call me an old agitator, but now I've resolved to repent. With me inkling of an inkling of a radio, with me inkling of an inkling of a radio, with me robo bo robo bo and my love stone keeps baiting away. Now my father was hung for sheep stealing. My mother was born for a witch. My sister's a dandy housekeeper. And I'm a mechanical switch. With me inkling of an inkling of a radio. With me inkling of an inkling of a radio. With me robo bo robo bo and and the lobstone keeps baiting away. Now it's forty long years I have travelled, 
I'll buy the contents of me pack. <laughs> me hammers, me hauls, and me pinchers. I carry them all on me back. With me inkling of an inkling of a radio. With me inkling of an inkling of a radio. With me robo bo robo bo randy. And my lobstone keeps bedding away. Now the wife she is humpy, she's lumpy. The wife she's a devil, she's cracked. And no matter what I may do with her, her tongue it goes cliggity clack. With me inkling of an inkling of a dido. With me inkling of an inkling of a dido. With me robo bo robo bo randy. And my lobstone keeps baiting away. Now it happened one fine summer's morning. A little before it was day, I dipped her three times in the river, and I carelessly bade her good day. With me inkling of an inkling of a radio, with me inkling of an inkling of a radio, with me robo bo robo bo randy, and my lobstone keeps baiting away. This is for Patter. As we gather in chapel here in Old Canaan Jail, think about these past few years. Will the same fail from our school days? They have told us we must yearn for liberty. Yet all I want in this dark place is to have you here with me. Oh, Grace, just hold me in your arms and let this woman be. Don't take me out of dawn and I. On your feet, it won't be time to share our love for we the sake Now I know it's hard for you, my love, to ever understand. Love I bear for these brave men, the love for my dear land. But when Corey called to his side down in the GBO, I had to leave my own secret to him. I had to go. Oh, just hold me in your arms and let this moment linger. Take me out at dawn and I will die. With all my love, I'll place this wedding ring upon your finger. There won't be time to share out. As the dawn is breaking 
my heart is breaking too On this May morn as I walk out My thoughts will be yours And I'll write some words on the wall so So much that I could see his blood upon the rose. Oh, please just hold me in your arms and let this moment take me out of dawn. And I will die. With all Hello. 